Hello everyone, James here from JVC Paints. I'm really excited today because I'm going to get to show you a project I've been working on for the last six weeks or so. Um, this is my early war Kingdom of Greece, Greek army, Hellenic army uh, for bold action. Uh, or you can also play the uh, Greco-Italian War of 1940-41. Uh, before I start, I just wanted to say thank you to all my uh, new subs. I'm um, over 400 now. And to the guys who make their uh, subscriptions public, King Matt the Superior, M. Volkov, Patrick Sundell, Terry Williams, thanks very much, guys. Um, so yeah, I'll get stuck in here. Um, so I bought these miniatures. They are all from Great Escape Games. Um, there's some Tamiya models uh, coming up as well, but this is the, this is the officer and his buddy. Um, the army list for the Greeks can be found in the France and the Allies book. Um, they don't have a lot of punch, and you'll see that I tried to make the army as interesting as possible. But uh, you know, here we go. Here, this is the officer. Uh, he's got a pistol and his his, his uh, buddy next to him. Um, followed by the medic and a helper here. Um, the, for the uniforms, I'm going to get my finger in here. I'm just going to turn the medic so you can sort of see his front here. Um, for the uniforms, the, the source I used the most was a, a reenactor site uh, that I found on Facebook. Um, so they're Greek, and, and, they're, and I imagine as a lot of reenactors, a lot of their equipment was pretty accurate. Other than that, I couldn't find a lot of color photos. So that's what I went with. Um, so yeah, here's the medic and his buddy. Uh, next to them, we have the anti-tank rifle uh, and his, uh, his pal. Uh, next to them, we have a sniper and his pal. What I did here, I just want to go into this real quick. I just did it with the trees here um, so I would know who the sniper is. Um, if, when you're doing trees, I find it's better, instead of like using twigs and stuff like that that you might find in your garden, um, get some roots. Like dig up, like pull up some you know plant or weed or something like that that, you know, uh, and that has some really nice solid roots. Let it dry out. And then chop it up, uh, cut it up, and, and uh, you can make better sort of shaped trees. I find that it, it works. It just gives it, it looks a lot more natural than just sticking a straight twig into the ground. But yeah, this is the sniper. Um, so I put a tree here. I figure that, you know, he's got some cover. And his buddy, his buddy's got the binoculars. I'll just twist it there so you can see it. Um, if you can't see him that clearly, I intend to put some stills up after each little section here. So stay tuned for that. And then finally, we have a, a light mortar. Um, this army actually has quite a few light mortars, uh, as you'll see. Uh, and like I said, the Greeks didn't really have a lot of uh, uh, things to choose from at that time in the war. So yeah, this is uh, these are sort of the special units um, and uh, the command for my Greek army. Okay, I'll put the stills up and then I'll get into the actual troops. Here's the backbone of the army. Uh, it's the infantry. Um, before I start talking about the infantry sections that I have for this army, uh, I just wanted to talk about the, the special national rules for the Greeks in bold action. Um, they have three. They have a communication breakdown, which means that uh, if the Greek dice is the first dice out of the bag, uh, your opponent can make you redraw, and the second dice stand. So if it's Greek again, you get to go first. If it's not, well, you know, too bad, so sad. Um, field craft. So they can all start hidden and in ambush, which is really handy if you're uh, on playing defensive, uh, playing the defender. Um, and they also, on the same, the same rule, if you're on the offense, um, they also ignore rough ground and obstacles. So they can just treat it as open ground, so they can whip through woods uh, or rubble or whatever, hop fences with no problem, like they're just not even there. And the last one is infiltration, which is they get no minus one for outflank or coming onto the board, which is really, really handy because you don't have a lot of veteran units in a Greek army. Um, in fact, you can really only choose either uh, you know, regular or uh, inexperienced. So what I've done in my army, I've got two big uh, squads here, uh, two big 10-man squads. I've taken uh, the maximum amount of options, but not the maximum amount of men. The maximum amount of figures per squad is 11. Um, these guys have 10, so they'll have the uh, the full squad rule. I forget the exact name of it, but I've maxed them out here. I've got an LMG. Uh, we've got the NCO. This is the guy pointing. And here we've got the VB launcher. Now, the VB launcher is basically an 18-inch uh, light mortar. And it's really handy because when the rest of these guys are all, you know, shooting at, you know, target A, this guy can shoot at target B. Um, and I've maxed out these guys with that. Um, these guys are inexperienced. Um, and I'll show you the next squad here. Um, basically exactly the same, just the different, you know, figures and stuff like that. So, Grayscape Games has like a squad A and a squad B. 
I don't know which ones were in Squad A, I don't know which ones were in Squad B, but um, they, they, do, they do have a lot of different figures. So here you can see the NCO is prone, he's got his fist up in the air. I put the, uh, we've got an LMG that's also prone like in the other squad, and we've got a loader, exact same. Uh, we've got a VV launcher, different model, and then again, his buddy, and then all the guys in the back. So the Greeks don't have like submachine guns and stuff like that. So, uh, but for plus one point, you can make the Mountain Truce, which are the Ivones, and uh, that gives them all tough fighter, which is really handy. Um, with the, especially with the lack of submachine guns. I think the officers can take submachine guns, but you know, my model has a pistol and I probably, <laughs> you know, I, I don't, I don't think I want to get my officer that close, uh, to the enemy that I'd be using a submachine gun, but he's already got tough fighter. He's got the pistol. He's got his buddies. So, you know, uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to take some photos of these guys too. And then I'm going to show you the rest of the army. Here's the more mobile uh, part of my army. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the Greeks don't really seem to have a lot of options for uh, compared to other early war armies. Um, their tank selection, they can either take the, I think it's the Renault, the French tank, or they can take the Vickers light tank. Now the Vickers light tank has an HMG and an MMG at 75 points at regular, but you can take the Bren carrier, which is seven armor seven, uh, and put a Pintle LMG on it, and or uh, you can put an anti-tank rifle on it for plus 10 points. So it's like 70 points. So it's five points cheaper and you can move guys around it. So that's what, I, that's what I've done. So I took the 10 man sections and I split them into uh, five. So we've got here, we've got an LMG section with the NCO, he's prone in the front. And here we've got the, again, the NCO that's prone and, but we have a VB launcher. And I've basically done that again. Here we have the LMG, you can see him there. And then we have the VB launcher. So I put them all in brain carriers. Um, the brain carriers are all from Tamiya. Um, and uh, unfortunately these models were very fragile. I think I've mentioned that before. Uh, the barrels of the uh, LMGs have kind of snapped off here and there. Um, but uh, the idea is that with the infiltration rule, you know, I can put, have a couple of these guys on the board and then I can put, you know, two more on outflank. So what I'm thinking is I can have the, the ones here with the uh, VB launchers, these guys and these guys here, um, have them on the board, you know, and using the VB launchers with the other two that I have and then the light mortars will have five sort of covering things, maybe taking out a sniper, concentrating fire, should get a hit. And then putting the guys with the LMGs here, uh, putting them on outflank and uh, have them come in. Uh, and with the LMG, pindle mount LMG or anti-tank rifle, depending on the situation of the game, um, they can come storming in, pump off eight shots, jump out, and then pump off some more more uh, LMG fire and, uh, you know, do some damage on the enemy. That's what I'm, you know, that's the plan, but we all know how those things all work out. So uh, I'll put up some more photos up of these guys at the end and I'll show you a big old picture of the army and then I'll say goodbye. So stay tuned. And here's the whole army. Uh, works out to 15 dice, approximately a thousand points. Like I said, 999 or 1001, something like that. I don't have the list handy, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it packs quite a bit of firepower. We have the equivalent of uh, five light mortars. We got the actual light mortar dice here, and then with the the four VB launchers that are in there as well. Uh, and also, I have 12 LMGs if I put the pindle mounts on the uh, Bren carrier. So uh, it packs enough firepower, I think, for a, an early war game. Um, and, uh, the, and like I said, a lot of these guys will have tough fires with the exception of one section here, which will be, uh, inexperienced. So yeah, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I know you don't see a lot of these armies out there. Um, I know great escape games. They have a lot of sort of fringy stuff for early war. They're doing a Danish, uh, Kickstarter at the moment, uh, which I haven't backed yet, but I'm really looking at it. And, uh, yeah, that's it for me, guys. Um, I've been trying to watch everybody's videos, but... I think with everybody being at home, there's a lot more videos flying around out there than I, you can uh, see in one day. So I'm trying to get caught up. I'm trying to leave comments and stuff like that as well. Anyways, guys, you guys have a great weekend. Keep those brushes moving, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.